Welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. Guys, is it even Easter or spring if we don't take a little trip to B&M? Home Bargains is the place we go every month because that's where I tend to get more of my food purchases. But you know me, every season or occasion, we do have to have a little trip down to B&M. So I'm so excited because they've got their spring bits in, they've got their Easter bits in, and they've got some blooming good snacks. Let me tell you that. So I'm not going to rabbit rabbit, but I have got... It's like a workout trying to lift these. Two huge bags. As always, I'm going to leave that one there because that is the one that is a little bit too heavy for my liking. And if I say we have snacks, we have essentials. We have Easter bits. We have non-essentials. And we have just the what was you thinking, Shan? I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Let's get in with B&M New In Spring Slash Easter. Let's get into it. So I've just looked at myself in the viewfinder and I look like a big pink chicken, don't I? With the red hair, it's kind of clashing. It's not a vibe, is it? But I need to be warm because it's cold. It's still blooming cold and I'm not here for it, okay? I am not here for it in the slightest, my lovelies. So that is why we had to pick up the Essentials Makate. We need to have these in our life. If you are like Mama G who does not want to be using the coffee machine because she just doesn't have the time or patience, 10 sachets for one pound. We've got the cappuccino. Now, these are a regular. You have latte classic. You have an Irish cream. I'm still yet to find Makate Gold Irish Cream. If you have seen it, it's the green box. Let me know down below. You also have the macchiata and a caramel one. These are standard. Add your hot water. You are good to go. And as I say, for those cold mornings and cold evenings and cold afternoons that we're having at the moment, like I'm sitting here and I've got a little throw on because I am freezing. I have jeans on. I'm actually not in my pyjama bombs once. I've got jeans on. I've got my little slippers on. I've got a big jumper on and yes i have a throw because it's cold what is british weather doing my lovelies let's kick it off with something that is probably a non-essential but i've actually got this for mama g's easter box if you saw the home bargains haul earlier this week i actually have picked up some little easter boxes i'm not at the point yet where we're going to get like full-blown easter wooden crates and everything from Epsi, but they're just like a cute little gift box so i picked this up and this was about one pound 25 if i remember correctly they had it in pink blue green and lilac but i thought yellow so this is definitely going to go in with her little easter box that i'm doing her because we're having a little box that i think we're going to open on good friday so you see it at the beginning of the easter vlog and then we have it all the way throughout but i think we're doing like a 20 or a 25 pound budget and we're going to do a little uh, Easter box to give each other. These are definitely needed. <laughs> I tell you that because Mama G is on the mend now. But you might be able to tell I'm sounding a little bit sniffly. Um, I don't know why. There's just so much stuff going around, ain't there, my lovelies? So I picked up a pack of eight Kleenex Balsam. So these are like, they've got like a little scent on them. If you especially have like a cold or that. Eight for a pound. And yeah, just absolutely everything that I need. And they've got aloe vera in there. So that's soft on my nose. Because I don't know about you, but whenever I'm ill and I get a cold and it involves wiping my nose a lot, I always get like a little nose sore. And it is the most annoying goddamn thing ever let me tell you that my love is the most annoying thing ever now i got very excited i did get very excited when i saw this in b&m i love white chocolate like milky bar is my go-to i remember when they used to be like 10p they're definitely not 10p right now and i also like mini eggs so can you imagine my excitement when i saw a milky bar mini egg bar i'm not even going to look at how many calories that the uh, row contains but how gorgeous is that now part of me is thinking shan you need to hold out for easter but i don't think i will i don't think i will and i feel like it's already broken into the rows <laughs> that's perfect for me and what do you get you get three in a row or oh, maybe i could this was one pound as well which i didn't think was too bad because sometimes you find chocolates in the run-up to easter just go through the roof 
I mean, why is a one pound bar of chocolate now 150 or something like that? Like, it's daylight like robbery and you should not be able to do that. I see that more in the supermarkets. I'm just like, why? You're literally jumping on the hype. And you know what? You're probably just hindering yourself. Because if you left it at the price it was or even done a bit of a deal, more people would buy it. If you're putting your prices up, expect a loss because i don't think it's fair that you're putting your prices up to try and benefit yourself when there are people out there struggling all we want is a bit of chocolate the government oh my god the government should actually give us easter eggs for being under their government and putting up with the crap show that they are doing sorry to have a rant but yeah i would like to start a petition that the government is to send every household easter eggs can you imagine that can you imagine if you had like knock 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 this is from who's rishi sunak that's the Prime Minister, ain't it? Yeah. Because the other lady didn't last. Like, what actually happened there? What on earth happened there? Oh, yeah, yeah, but that's not that's not for this conversation. Because what you're going to say is, Shan, you did not need that. And I'm going to say to you, my lovelies, I know. I know I didn't need it, but I just got a little sidetracked. I got another sippy cup. <laughs> I got another sippy cup, considering I got one from Home Bargains. Maybe I might actually put this in Mum's. I might um, put this in Mum's Easter box and then she can't moan at me. Because it's yellow, so it will match. Oh, oh don't tell me I've got a dodgy one. Oh no, have I got a dodgy one? No. feel like we might have a dodgy one right we're gonna we're just gonna deal with it that might actually go in mum's box because it's yellow so it matches her pen and if i remember correctly in the box they actually come with yellow wrapping paper oh my god me and mum should do a theme like the color theme pink blue yellow no i think she'd get very flustered if there was a color theme i mean she's already flustered enough trying to think of easter and spring bits better but yeah that i believe was about 199 they had it in blue pink and lilac also once again but i went with yellow now these i feel like i used to have something like this when i was a kid but it's giving me like american vibes so it's the mcvitties bn and it's 16 vanilla flavored biscuits they also had it with chocolate and that 84 calories a biscuit i feel like this is something i used to have as a child this the face with like the cream coming out is reminding me of something and i don't know what it is and it's very frustrating there was about 89p but feeling it i don't know if they're in packs I, mean, I don't want to open them just yet because I'm not really in the mood for it. But I don't know if they're in singular packs. Maybe they're in two packs of eight. Are they individual? I don't know. We shall see. But yeah, they kind of remind me of something. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know. It was definitely something I feel like I had as a child. Where there was like a face and you had... Because I remember I used to take the top biscuit off god i'm getting old now i can't even remember my childhood no hope eh? no hope these however are for the health kick and i really like these these are bell vita minis so you can normally get the bell vita crackers they're like three or four in a pack but these are the little minis so they kind of remind me like little mini chocolate chip cookies but they're good ones it's six for one pound and you get yeah six i'm thinking you don't get six per little pot <laughs> if you did i would not be happy but these are the Belle Vita Meanies. And as I say, I get the honey and chocolate chip ones. You can get the plain breakfast ones, I think, or the plain honey. I feel like there potentially could be an almond one as well. Not entirely sure. But yeah, chocolate chips because it's basically like having little Maryland cookies, to be honest. And we all need that in our life. Oh, you're really going to shout at me. Okay. I saw this, my lovelies. And it was £2, so I, ju I just couldn't, couldn't not go and pick it up. We all know I'm a sucker for a fake plant, ain't I? I mean, they're pretty much everywhere in my room because I can't be trusted with real flowers. I mean, I think I could do. It's just making the time, which probably sounds so silly because it's probably a mere five minutes. But sometimes I just don't have the power or the emph in me to go empty it out, put it up, put new food in, everything like that. So I love a fake plant. I love it even better when it's in a little um, themed vase. How cute is that? Two pound, guys. 
and it's got like i think they're like little fake cacti with the stones these are like very generic with the stones and the little cactus thing in but i thought that was so cute so now i'm thinking right might have to take out the normal plants and replace them with this because we are loving a bit of decor i'm getting so excited now because we're getting closer and closer to actually decorating for spring now i mean <laughs> we need to lay everything out so i said to mum right we'll either get the pasting table out or we'll put everything in the kitchen and we'll have to like categorize it all like we do for christmas like the whole task of like christmas and autumn i feel like easter is slowly going to become to that level but i'm not mad about it i'm absolutely not mad about it and i tell you what i ain't mad about little bit mad at the price but i'm just gonna kind of ignore that these doritos i've got a dorito share bag aka a shannon bag because shannon doesn't share her snacks these were 175 it's a little bit steep ain't it for doritos but they are the loaded pepperoni pizza flavor guys and if you have not tried these please please go out and try them because last month when it was mother nature i sat down started a little series and this i was happy happy go lucky i've also started actually a few series this month so family family favorites i'm thinking of family fortunes <laughs> what a random thought should pop in my head oh my goodness what i was gonna say is in the monthly favorites there's gonna be a lot more series this month and i've also actually started watching some bits and bobs on disney plus i mean i'm paying for my subscription i might as well bloom and use it and i need to start now looking for stuff on the discovery app like subscription that i've got i should really cancel that but it's one pound a week and i feel like it's always there on the off chance if i want to watch my diners drive-ins and dives or man versus food bits and bobs like that but yeah i've started watching bits and bobs on disney and a few new series on netflix these will be getting demolished alongside when it's time of the month i mean i know march is like makeover month we're gonna we've done the hair we've done the hair we just need to tidy the face up a little bit let's just say um also then look after ourselves like getting back in the gym healthy eating but when it is mother nature i'm not holding back i still want my snacks all right if i can't have three days of the month where i pig out and do what i want while my body's doing its thing it's a poor old do ain't it it is a poor old do ah talking about body and health i picked up some more glucose tabs so if you don't know i am hypoglycemic which means my sugar levels are always low so i have to have sugar in the morning to build me up the majority of that is either from sugary tea or because it's been cold lately i've been having some porridge with a couple of spoonfuls of sugar however these are great for if i need like an instant kick if i'm out and about and i start to feel a little bit funny these are 75p each from um b m you can get them from super drug um, tesco boots anything that normally with the health aisle so they won't necessarily be with like paracetamols and that i normally find them with like the health bars the slim fast because it's kind of they put it with that because it's like see it's not protein but they class it within like health and fitness so if you can't find them like i.e with the paracetamols or anything like that go and have a look where like you'll get the fitness bits and they are the zero sugar zero cal electrolyte sports drink and these ones you actually put in your oh no hold on Oh, what a dingbat. You know what I've picked these up thinking they are? I've picked these up thinking they're like my Dextrosol tabs. They're not. Mix one tablet with 750ml of water for a great tasting sugar-free electrolyte zero with zero calories for during exercise and throughout the day. Well, that's not great if I was having a hypo shot because I need the sugar. I don't read stuff when I pick it up, clearly, because it says on the front, zero sugar. <laughs> oh god well you know what i'm gonna use these to have a nice refreshing drink in my new little water bottle that i got from uh, home bargains earlier in the week and this could be my new little thing for gym but now i do actually need to go to boots and super drug and pick up some dextrosol tablets because i am low i thought they were there <laughs> shannon lee shannon lee shannon lee oh my goodness right who knows what i'm gonna say 
Who knows what I'm going to say? I feel like we need to sing it together. If you go to the bargain shops and don't pick up your drinks, what are you doing? Because do not be paying the prices in the supermarket, my lovelies. I picked up two cans of Tango Dark Berry and these were 39p each, I believe. Sugar free. So as I say, I don't tend to have fizzy drinks often now. I'm trying to cut them out, but I still like to have just a little bit of fizz every now and then. But as I say, if you do not... Oh, what's this? Prince's Trust. 5p of every bold Tango pack helps transform young people's lives. Oh, that's nice. If you... um don't pick up your drinks i mean what are you doing what are you doing that's so much cheaper at like the likes of panland b m home bargain savers do not be paying for them in the supermarket prices my lovely please don't but i've got a few things because obviously when we do our easter haul we are going to be easter fired for those four days so i've picked up these they are a 10 pack of bunny paper cups they was 10 for two pound and you probably think they're very gimmicky they are indeed i mean look at the little picture at the back i like them because they had little bunny ears on them i just thought they was really cute and as i say if we have like our little morning orange juice or morning drink and then a little bit of an alcoholic beverage in the evening why not let's have some cute little cups to go with it they actually had a huge selection which i did buy quite a lot of stuff from their easter selection i'm not gonna lie and you're probably thinking shan it's way too early but with easter just like halloween and christmas guys you have to get in early you have to get in early because if you leave it till april i guarantee you'll be like father's day stuff april will just be like non-existent or you might get like the few remaining bits for easter so yeah you might think i'm buying a little bit early but preparation is key eh two back preparation you know when you go down b&m's like a bargain aisle i saw these and they was a pan and i thought mm, do i need them then i thought yes i'm gonna make use out of them for somehow so they were one pound and they're these little smoothie mason jars so obviously who remembers i have the pink portable blender well this would be perfect to put my little smoothie in they don't have lids that's the only thing so these are definitely for home use only so whether that be i do a smoothie or i put some oats in there oh my god i could do layered oats <gasps> oh that would be an idea nice layered oats but yeah they had so many bits down there special buys all and it's just like a mind feel and you go down there and it's just like wow you could get so carried away and like you keep checking the time thinking like i've only got two hours on that car park I've already been here an hour and 15. I need to pay yet. It's such a whirlwind. I get so suckered into it. I'm like, Shannon, think realistically. Talking about getting suckered into things. <laughs> if we got the cups, there's obviously napkins. So I got a 20 pack of Easter napkins for £2. And they're little bunnies out of this little checkered yellow. Oh, guys, just look. I mean, mum's not going to be happy. <laughs> she will be like she will see the fun side in it but she'll be like sham that's almost a fiver just for cups and napkins i'm gonna be like mum i could put a few in her little easter box couldn't i like surprise <laughs> i don't know if she'd be very happy with that but hey these occasions only come around once a year and i feel like you have halloween and christmas so that's like september to december done and then january is free february you have a little bit for valentine's but nothing like full-blown and then april is your easter and then from april you literally don't have anything until halloween again so i feel like you have like april may june july august september you have months to get replenish renewed and then go all out again for autumn mum is actually really worried about autumn this year because she's like sham we physically cannot buy any more autumn or halloween decor but i don't know about you i thought the house looked really bare last year it hadn't changed we actually had more bits than before but i don't know if we just spread them out a bit more but yeah i was like oh no need to get a few more bits of them mum what we do need is a halloween gonk we've got the autumn gonk we need to have a halloween gonk so yeah that is what we will be on the hunt for this year picked up a snack which i haven't tried this one and it is the five minute noodles naked i like this brand i've had them in the pots before and it is a japanese style chicken yakisoba just add veg and meat oh no hold on a minute i don't read things do i i do not read things 
I thought this was like a um oh I can still have it as a lunch dried egg noodles in a chicken yakisoba flavor sauce with red pepper and spring onion oh that's fine yeah I can still have that I'm thinking hold on a minute I've picked these up and these are to go in a wok for dinner but you can actually have them for dinner as well so it says preparation for dinner or eating on its own oh that's fine absolutely fine that was one pound as well you know you just think god i've not been reading a lot of stuff i was so sidetracked by the other bits and bobs i just i couldn't when i say sidetracked 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 so i've got some mini flumps guys i absolutely blooming love flumps absolutely love them i picked these up these were I want to say like 79 or 89p. All of the chocolates were under one pound because I'm not paying a lot for chocolates. I picked up some Maltese mini bunnies. White chocolate. Look at them. See, stuff like this, I don't know whether to keep for the 24 hours or just eat them beforehand. I really don't know. These I'm so excited for. Chocolate M&M eggs. So they're like a mini egg, but they are M&M. And they're pink. I mean, that just that just sold it to me my lovelies and then i picked up some tree ball mints but they're soft mints i used to love these however they're peppermint we all know i'm more of a spearmint kind of girl four packs i couldn't find the spearmint so i was like you know what we'll go with it because sometimes i do like a little bit of a soft mint just to like chomp away on you know i uh got some more decor pieces yes i did I saw this and I was like, oh, you are coming home with me. It was £4, though. A little pricey for B&M, but I loved it. So from the side, you might think, Shan, it is literally just a bunny tea light holder. But I feel like you pay because of this little design on the front. And it is cute. It is holding a little sunflower. So I thought, you know what? You are cute. You might be a little pricey, but... <laughs> You're going to be a great little addition to the family. And then I got a few more chocolates. These are actually for mum. So I might actually put these, as I say, in mum's little Easter box. Because we are, are we going to do our Easter sweet buckets this year? I don't know. See, this is the thing. Do we do our Easter sweet buckets? Or do we add that into the gift box? I'm not too sure. But I picked up three peppermint cream from Fry's. These are, as I say, she loves them and i also got these for oh no these are my ones these are the skinny bars but they're skinny chocolate crunch honeycomb i don't feel like i've had the crunch version before 99 calories per bar and it says it's a cereal and honeycomb bar covered in chocolate i normally just have like the whip ones but i saw this and i was like mm. and also it's yellow you'll get the vibe over spring and easter that like i do love a bit of yellow and <laughs> i got mum a little um this is definitely for mum's easter box i got her a little bunny like squidgy but it's, it's gone a little bit a wire in it i've got i've got to sort it out this is a bunny body puff and this was 99p very gimmicky because if i remember correctly it was in the child section yeah <laughs> oopsie very simple picked up some classic vanilla extract for some baking, this was £1. Again, don't be paying the prices of supermarket. Vanilla extract can be so blooming expensive, can't it? And then, right, I didn't need this. I didn't need this. But I saw it and I got it. You know me, I love a sippy cup, all right? And this is a little sippy cup, just a standard one. It's not got the clicker on the top. You know, we can have it open or shut, so I will have to be careful with this. But this was, I think, £1.99. one ninety nine. One ninety nine. And it's just pink with little uh, Easter egg things on. I feel that I got there just as the bits were going out. Because some of the stuff hasn't got prices on. So they was literally stocking it all as I was putting it on. And I can't not get a mug. This was £3, okay? So a little pricey. But look at the rabbit on it. It's so cute. It's got a baby pink handle. And then as I say, the rabbit is on the back as well three pound they had it as well with like a um hedgehog on i think but i was like no we'll go with the rabbit and it was pink and then this oh guys i was so excited when i saw this this was seven pound which again i still feel was cheaper than you could probably get this in next and it would be a hell of a lot more expensive it's a little bunny 
faux planter with Easter eggs in. Look at the little back. I feel like I have this as a chick planter from last year. I feel like I've got a little yellow chick of one. But I saw this, as I say, £7. It was on the pricier side. But again, it's good quality. Like, it feels good. I love the little mini eggs in with the decorage. And, yeah. It's going to be another little addition to the faux plant family that we have here in this house, like our ever-growing gonk family. Please stay, don't fall. <laughs> stay. My lovelies, let's go and get a little quick drink and come back because bag two... Oh, it's just filled with even more goodies. <laughs> right, I actually don't know where I'm going to put these bits and bobs because the dressing table is already very filled. just iron up the floor <laughs> to chuck bits and bobs so again to go in for the little i feel like these will go in the easter bags um i got a four pack boost bars these were one pound but god it they got tiny what is going on with the size of the chocolates my lovelies i feel like if i'm gonna have a cheat and have a chocolate bar i want a good size chocolate bar i don't want these half naff ones i want a full chocolate bar but yeah four for a quid i thought you know what again boost was a chocolate bar that i'd never really tasted like dime chocolate last week last week last month i was gonna say last year no it was last month and i actually really liked dime bars and then i tried that and i was like oh it's probably not good trying all these new chocolates when you want it to go on a health kick but i do like to have a sweet treat once a week and as much as I would love to sit there and devour, like, say, a whole carrot cake, I can't. I have a little chocolate bar. So, yeah, I'm broadening my horizons within chocolate. Let me know what your favourite chocolate bar is down below, my lovelies, all right? Oh, guys, these are adorable. One pound. I got two little egg cups. <laughs> we got a little bunny and a little chick. They're so gimmicky, aren't they? They are actually so gimmicky. But I just, I couldn't. I was thinking, do I get two of each? And then I thought, no, just be sensible. We will just have a bunny and a chick. Because I kind of like sometimes having stuff that isn't matchy-matchy as much as I am. Someone who likes a set and likes it all organised. I do quite like kind of the fun of having a mismatch like my Halloween and like my Christmas dinner sets that i get from tk maxx because i buy everything individual none of them match none are from the same set but it's just stuff that catches my eye and yeah i'm gonna be like that with like my occasional stuff i think stuff every day i would like to be matching but when it's an occasion i'm gonna go a bit wild and not have matching things <gasps> i know who is she who actually is she seven days now please don't be like me when i first bought them i thought it meant seven days worth of snacks it's not you get five days it's actually the brand that's called seven days these were one pound and i got the ones just with cocoa you can get cocoa and cream which i much prefer i prefer the double filling ones but this one same just a plain cocoa one pound that was very aggressive of me i didn't mean to chuck it to you my lovely but just like go on have some <laughs> five little croissants for one pound and again these are great for a little sweet treat snack that's kind of what i have around say like elevenses if i'm starting to get a little peckish because i've actually started having breakfast and a proper breakfast proper breakfast to fill me up but i still get like snacky about 11 half 11 so something like that is a lot better than eating a whole pack of doritos i mean i mean it's all about little baby steps you know little baby steps <sighs> Now, I picked this up, but I also got one of these from Home Bargains. Was it Home Bargains? I think it was. And that was only like two quid. This is where you can tell the slight disparity, but I still picked it up. I saw this little um, plaque thing again, but this was 3 50 Slightly more pricey. And I can't really tell much difference with it, to be honest. But I did like it because this one is a lot more colourful. I feel like... The Home Bargains one is just white, but it says Happy Easter, and I love the little, it's like a pink and white candy cane striped string to hang it up on, but yeah, a little Happy Easter plaque. 
if you are looking for a plaque though and you want like a more affordable one definitely go to home bargains as i say this is just b&m i do find the homeware to be a little bit more pricey but i feel that is because b&m are kind of known for more of their home bits i'm gonna say but yeah home bargains just as good my lovelies okay just as good <laughs> did we need any hand wash no did Shannon see it and just get carried away? Yes. Mmm, sweetie goodness. So I picked up a hand wash, shock. It's by the brand Astonish and it says Fun from the Fair. Antibacterial hand wash raspberry ripple. And that is exactly what it smells like. It smells like I have picked up my Mr. 99p and they're like, what sauce do you want? Raspberry please. And they just squeeze that on. What actual sauce do you have on your... 99 piece if you get anything off the ice cream man i'm very partial to bubble gum bubble gum or chocolate that is one thing oh my god i've just remembered we've got summer coming up the ice cream man's going to be back oh <gasps> so my local ice cream man i always get lemon ice always get lemon ice my one at work they never have lemon ice it's always never that so i sometimes get a big sunday <laughs> oopsie where i'll get chocolate vanilla and i normally get mint choc chip or coconut drizzled in chocolate sauce with chopped up ferrero rocher oh yes but this is raspberry riffle this is more than enough and 600 mil for a quid you can't go wrong can you you cannot go wrong what i'm going wrong with is i can't find any space now to start putting the rest of these bits on oopsie now also trying to like get there we've got some cereal i had this before and i really enjoyed it it's two pound a box and it's skinny crunch chocolate granola so it's by like skinny whip skinny crunch the bars all to do with that type of jazz 117 calories per portion now i'm not gonna lie guys i have two portions of this in one go because a 25 gram portion is not gonna fill me up but i thought coming into like hopefully the warmer months i mean not as i'm currently sitting here with all my blankets all my throws and my electric blanket on my bed sizzling away we need something that's maybe a little bit lighter in the summer months you know but yeah two quid again definitely worth getting it when you go to the bargain shops because i don't really actually think i see skinny crunch in the supermarkets but cereal i have noticed in supermarkets in general is ridiculous i saw a box of cornflakes the other day and i think it was like three pound fifty i'm like three pound fifty like i'm not really one for like branded cereals like i'm quite happy like getting an own brand or like a dupe of it like a cheerios dupe instead of paying through the roof of that but yeah i'm not really don't know why it's so expensive you know and then we've got a couple of snacks so i picked these up for mum three sachets these are going up three sachets and i feel it was about 75p of cup of soup with croutons minestrone just because mum sometimes likes to have a little bit of a little treat let's just say a little treat and then i picked these up for me because i absolutely one of the cereals that i do love is crave and these are crave sticks you get five and these were one pound and they're 98 calories per portion so i thought you know what and looking at them they're just like a little stick with chocolate hazelnut inside so it's kind of like my ferrero rocher fix but yeah it's just trying to find stuff that is a lot better say like calorie wise for snacks just chuck on the floor as opposed to like having the snack man you know i can't help it guys i can't help it right got another bowl and they had this and the insert was all different colors but i just stuck with one i got pink this time because i thought we got quite a lot of yellow this was a four pound fifty so again a little on the pricey side but you're probably thinking shan it's just a rabbit on the side of a bowl but the inside is coloured. So as I say, you could get this with a yellow inside or a blue inside. But I just thought it was quite cute. And I thought, you know what these could be good for? When it's time of the month in Easter, put my pepperoni Doritos in it. I mean, game changer. Absolute game changer. Move aside cream eggs, which I had my first cream egg the other day. Oh, guys, I've missed them things. I love cream eggs. And I know you can pretty much get them all year round. But... It doesn't seem right not eating them like you have to eat them at easter and not throughout the year that is one thing like with me i love my baileys and the only time i would drink baileys is christmas or if i'm on holiday 
it's just something like I feel like I'm cheating on it if I eat it all year round because when Easter comes, I won't enjoy it. So yeah, um, move aside cream eggs. You won't be going in here. This is for my snacks. This is for like my pepperoni pizza Doritos. But yeah, 450. However, it is really good quality. That is one thing I will say for BM. The quality is like that of Home Sense and TK Maxx. Like it's not pappy, it's not gonna like break. I mean, God, please do be careful. Don't just start smashing it around because obviously it will break. But it's a good solid quality, you know? Good solid quality indeed. <laughs> So if we've got the cups and we've got the napkins, I had to get the plates. Guys, I had to get the plates. It's a 10 pack of plates with attachable ears. I didn't even realise that. So you put the ears in yourself for £2. So they would just be the normal rabbit face to start with and then you pop your ears in. Oh my God, I'm going to have so much fun. I don't want to open them yet because they are fully sealed. 10 for 2 quid so you can get carried away as you can see i've got cups i've got napkins i've got plates and what else have i got in here oh, oh right okay <laughs> these are the last of the easter bits but this is a six pack easter decoration includes happy easter bunting and honeycomb decorations for three pound oh that's not actually too bad because i thought that it was £3 just for the bunting. This is what I'm saying. I don't read things. So you get five honeycomb decorations and the happy Easter bunting. Oh, I actually don't think that's bad for £3. So you've got your little bunting and then these are all your honeycomb decorations. Oh, I like that. I literally just saw it and saw the picture of the bunting and thought, yep, yeah, that's it. <gasps> oh, I like them. Okay. I'm excited to put them up, guys. We are getting a little bit excited. However, I'm oh, I'm sorry. When I saw these, oh, is it bad? I wanted to pick up like 10 packs because I thought if they never, ever do these in life again, I feel like my Easter's will not be complete now. My Sunday dinner on Easter Sunday with my leg of lamb will not be the same if we are not pulling a cracker. And yeah. You get six pack of crackers. They include a party hat, joke, and a gift, just like Christmas crackers. And they were five pound. But guys, look. Actually, look at them. So technically, looking at them, I've got three years worth here because there's only me and Mum. We've got three years worth. Do we have matching crackers or do we have different crackers? Or do I take a cracker out and put it in a little box and be like surprise? oh i'm so excited for these i feel right i've got three years worth you watch you're going to see the easter vlog and i'm going to be like every morning like yeah let's pull a cracker <laughs> absolutely ridiculous i know i just get way too excited okay don't shout at me and the last two bits we got these are both for mum again i feel like i might put these in her i think i'll put them in her easter box they are the skinny crunch peanut butter snack bar these are less than 75 calories and we all know mum absolutely loves peanut butter so that is hers and these are also hers but I'll give these to her now because I feel like the date of them. They are Mrs Crimble's Big Chop Macaroons and these were £1 like the Skinny Crunch. These are really good for a quid guys. You go in the garden centres and these are about 2 two fifty, but I just got other ones with the chocolates on. Oh actually they're until May. No I'll let her have them now. They'll be like a little sweet treat. But yeah, um, I just really want to pull one of them crackers right now. I'm like, oh, I want to pull it, I want to pull it, I want to pull it. And I can't. But yes, guys, my dressing table is filled. The floor, the side, everywhere is filled. So that means this has been a really, really good B&M haul. <laughs> so my lovelies, I do hope you've enjoyed this haul. As I say, B&M, I would love to go to B&M every month, but... Because it is more homeware, I don't have a home yet. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm in my home, but I don't have my own home where I can just literally buy <laughs> bits and bobs all the time and change it around. So b and I tend to just go on the season, spring, summer, autumn, winter. But yeah, I feel like we've got a good selection. We've got a nice little few additions. I like my faux plants. We've got some bits for mum's little memory box. Not memory box, her Easter box. We've got snacks for ourselves. We've got some not so good snacks. We've got our share bag, aka Shannon bag. And I think like I just can't get over Easter crackers. Have you ever seen Easter crackers? 
if you have let me know because i feel like now i need oh my god i need halloween crackers valentine's day crackers mother's day crackers I probably sound crackers with the way that I'm talking about all of this, to be honest, don't I? But yes, guys, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. What was your favourite bit from the haul? Have you been to B&M? Have you seen any Easter bargains? Are you even decorating? Because I know some people don't decorate and they say to me, Shan, like, come on, girl. Rain it in. What are you doing always decorating? But I just, I get really sidetracked. I'm sorry. I just, <laughs> I mean... When it's pink and it's cute i can't say no i just like to be happy okay so sorry if that offends anyone that i like to decorate for pretty much any occasion that i can but yes take care stay safe as always and i'll see you very soon it's probably going to be another haul in it or are we coming to the end of our hauls no idea because i've got no idea which uh, order these are going up in but whatever it is i hope you enjoyed the next video bye guys Mwah.